Welcome to I Question PH. The today's question is How to solve word problems involving whole numbers? Visual representations are powerful ways to access abstract math ideas. They can help us understand word problems better together with verbal clues. Verbal clues are words related to certain basic mathematical operations. The following are examples of verbal clues for addition, more than, increased by, combined. For subtraction, less than, fewer, take away. For multiplication, double, thrice, times. For division, half, per, ratio of. To understand them better, let's study this example. Gabby is 8 years older than Mary. If Mary is 4 years old, how old is Gabby? In the given word problem, we can accurately depict the solution by adding Mary's age to the age gap they have in order to know the age of Gabby. We are able to guess it since there is a verbal clue, older than. So the mathematical operation that we are going to use is addition. Here is the solution. Mary's age, 4. Gabby's age is 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Therefore, Gabby is 12 years old. Another example. Jade is thrice as old as Ashley. If Ashley is 5 years old, how old is Jade? So in this word problem, we can depict that the solution is to multiply Ashley's age by 3 in order to know Jade's age. We are able to know it since there is a verbal clue, thrice. It means the mathematical operation that we are going to use is multiplication. Here is the solution. Ashley's age is 5. Jade's age is 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Therefore, Jade is 15 years old. Last example. 72 people have been invited to the party. The caterer is arranging tables. 8 people can seat per table. How many tables are needed? Through the verbal clue per, we can depict that we are going to divide. So the solution is divide the number of people invited to the party by the number of people that can seat per table. 72 divided by 8 is 9. Therefore, 9 tables are needed to accommodate all the guests. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.